If you live in the United States, you almost certainly pay too much for your broadband access to the Internet, probably to a huge company headquartered in New York or Texas. Your connection costs more and delivers less than those in peer nations in Europe and Asia, and they have more choices among service providers. However, you are almost certainly limited to access from a single cable company and a phone company. Needing faster, more affordable, more reliable, and universal access to the Internet, some communities have set out to build their own broadband networks. We decided to compare the broadband plans from community fiber networks in North Carolina to the big incumbent cable and telco packages. The advertised download speeds are on the horizontal axis, and the advertised upload speeds are on the vertical axis. The bigger the bubble, the more expensive your bill. We start with CenturyLink, which offers DSL in much of North Carolina. Like most DSL and cable, the upload speeds are much slower than the download speeds. AT&T's DSL service is similar to CenturyLink. Slow upload speeds are a killer for businesses who cannot be as productive as competitors served by modern, more reliable, affordable, and fast connections. As we chart higher speed services, we have to zoom out to show the faster connections. The AT&T U-verse is a more advanced DSL, offering higher capacity connections, but AT&T only offers it in select areas. Because cable connections are much faster than DSL, we're going to have to zoom out again to chart them. Here we show Time Warner Cable's best packages, which is still not available to all communities in the state. But for those who have it, the connections are much faster than DSL. Don't forget that on a cable network, you rarely achieve the advertised speeds. As we zoom further out to accommodate the much faster packages available from the community fiber optic networks, take a look at how all those incumbents stack up. The city of Wilson built Greenlight, a modern fiber-to-the-home network. And now, Fibrant from the city of Salisbury. The community fiber networks are not only faster and less expensive than the incumbents, they are far more reliable than the older DSL and cable networks. We decided to overlay nearby Chattanooga's community fiber network, the best citywide broadband network in the country, as a comparison. Because Chattanooga built its own network, they could decide to offer the fastest connections available in the U.S. Boom! Now that's globally competitive, unlike the services offered over cable and DSL. North Carolina is not unique. Community networks and cable or DSL networks have a similar dynamic throughout the country. Unfortunately, massive companies like AT&T and Comcast have used their vast lobbying power to convince a number of states to create new barriers against local authority to build these networks. But at a time when fast, affordable, and reliable access to the Internet has become essential for communities to thrive, how can anyone tell a community they have no right to build a network? Shouldn't everyone have the opportunity to build a world-class network as they did in Lafayette, Louisiana. Of course it should. States should allow communities to decide for themselves without onerous barriers devised by cable and phone companies that simply don't want to compete against more providers. Congress and the FCC should ensure states cannot preempt this essential local authority.